boys and girls, and welcome to Acha School Online. My name is Teacher Alice, and I'm so happy that you can join us. And I'm not alone. I am here with my two best friends. Sparkle. Hi, Teacher Alice. How are you? Fine, fine, thank you. You don't look very happy. What's wrong? I'm happy to Charlie. Oh, very good. Yes. And where is Baraka? <coughs> I'm right here, Charlie. I'm right here. Are you all right, Baraka? Yes, I'm very much all right. Very good. I'm so happy that you're here with us. Are you ready for the lesson? Yes, I am, Charlie. And you, Sparkle? Yes, I'm ready. Very good. And now, children, you can join all of us as we put our hands together, close our eyes, bow down our head, and let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, you are a wonderful God. There is no other God except you. You are almighty, you are everlasting, you are compassionate, you are our creator. We are grateful for you being our God. This day, Father, we ask that you forgive us all our wrongdoing that you teach us your way, that you show us the right thing to do. We thank you for everything that you are to us and for everything that you have done for us. And even for us to come today to hear your word, we ask that you start with us and you open our inner ears, our eyes that we hear and we see you in our life and we be the children and people who will love you and trust and obey you. We thank you, dear Father, and we invite your Holy Spirit to come and take control. And this is our prayer of faith. In Jesus' name we pray, we all say, Amen. 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 And now, children, you are going to join us as Baraka is going to lead us with this song which say, Kichwa Changu. Yes, boys, so we are going to sing the song that says Kichwa Changu. Kichwa changu chamu waza yeye Kio yangu ya mskia yeye Macho yangu ya mwana yeye Kinywa changu cham sangilia Kichwa changu chamu waza yeye Kio yangu ya mskia yeye Macho yangu ya mwana yeye Kinywa changu cha msangilia ni yeye Yesu 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 I spark Yes to Charles do you know what is coming next Yes. Aha, uh -huh. you can please tell us. Is it the did you know? Oh no, you are almost there, but it's not. Uh-huh. Yes. Before did you know? Oh, I remember. Uh -huh. It is the Bible story. Wow. Well done, Sparkle. And now, boys and girls, you can join me on the other side as we listen to the Bible story. Hello boys and girls. I am so grateful that you can join us as we are going to listen to our Bible story this day. Who can remember what we learned last Sunday? I remember it's about how Aaron being caused by the people he made a golden calf and for sure God was not happy about it. He punished the people and we learned that we should only worship one through God who is our Father. And with that boys and girls, today I decided I'm going to do something different because our story today is about now when people made a golden calf, what happened after that? Are you ready? Please you can open your Bibles. Exodus chapter 25 and also Exodus chapter 35. For those who can read, please read later. But I would like you now, please, to listen to the story. Now, after people disobeyed God, God was still merciful to them. 
and he had information for Moses. And he had asked Moses what to do because he wanted to have a good relationship with his people. Before I go to the story, boys and girls, I would like to ask you two questions. One, do you have a friend? And what do you do with your friend? So I would like you to be thinking about that because when we have friends, we should always have good fellowship or a good relationship. Now, God talked to Moses and he told Moses to ask all the people to bring some items to him. And some of these items were gold, silver. He asked them also to bring some uh, cloth, which were blue and purple. They were also to bring some wood, acacia wood. I will just name a few. So there were others, but this was the one God asked Moses to tell the people to bring to him. And do you know why? Because God wanted them to build a place for him. And this place, God told Moses to call it a tabernacle. So what is a tabernacle? A tabernacle is a moving dwelling, or a, let's say a small house which can be carried from one place to another. All is portable. So Moses was to use these and some others which I have not listed to make a tabernacle or a house of the Lord. I don't know whether you should go to church. In our church, here where I am, we have different sections. We have a place we call an altar where we go to worship God. We have a place where we read the Bible. We have a place where we sit. And I would like if you don't come to this church, you can also check in your church what is in there. So Moses was instructed by God on how to build the tabernacle. And now I'm going to draw something just to give you an idea of what God wanted. Now, in the tabernacle, Moses was to use the wood outside. This is the wood, like that. And then he was to make an entrance here. We put a door here. Well, I'm not very good in drawing, but you can get an idea. He was to put a door here or the entrance. And then in here, he was to divide with a white cloth. A white cloth was to be here to divide this place. And the white cloth represented that God is holy. Then Moses was to divide again here, and this place was a holy, was a holy place. And in this place, boys and girls, Moses was to put a table here. This table, they were to put 12 loaves of bread, representing the 12 tribes of Israelite. And also here, he was to put a big basin for the priest to wash their hand when they enter in this place. And then there was some lamp, which were seven of them. How many are those? Five, six, seven. And this lamp, they were burning incense using olive oil. And this incense would bring a smell, meaning that this smell was also like the smell when you're in the presence of God, a good smell. And at the same time, it would give light to the tabernacle, meaning that God was in the, in the tabernacle, inside the, the holy place. And then the very last part of the tabernacle, it was called the Holy of Holies. Now, boys and girls, no one was allowed to enter here. And even in the tabernacle, only the priests who were from the tribe of Levite would enter. This place, there was an ark. 
And Anak, this is whereby Moses was told by God to put the tablet. Remember last time we learned about the tablet. So the two tablets of the Ten Commandments were to be kept here and also a jug of manna, the food God was giving them from heaven. And then here, boys and girls, there were two angels. The Bible tells us cherubins, two angels were here, a picture of them, of course. And then there was a seat here, which the Bible tells us is a seat of mercy. And what was the use of this place? This place was the priest to come only once a year and sprinkle some blood here. It meant that God was here in their presence and God would take away their sins. Now, I don't know whether you have gotten the idea, the idea of the tabernacle. And now, they would come, the priest would offer the offering, the tabernacle. And the reason as to why God told Moses to do this, because God wanted to have fellowship with them. Can everybody say fellowship? Fellowship is where two or more people gather with the same agenda. And these people, they have the same goal or their friends. So God wanted his people to be with him, to worship him, and also to, to know that he is their God. Now, boys and girls, with this, what are we going to learn or what are we learning? Today we have church. We don't, have a, we don't call them tabernacles. And in this tabernacle, God was only inside there. But today, boys and girls, our God is everywhere. And now we don't need the priest to go and sprinkle the blood because we have the blood of Jesus Christ. Once you accept Jesus as your personal savior and you believe and testify and continue to do what, is, what God is telling us, your sins are forgiven. Today, boys and girls, God is calling us that we fellowship with him. We be friends with him because he is everywhere. Not only inside the church, he is also in your house when you worship him, when you are going to school, when you are alone, when you are sleeping, he is everywhere. And today he is calling us and telling us, please, I'm here, let us be friends. Are you going to accept Jesus as your friend? I hope your answer is yes. And with that, we'll look at our memory first, which come from the book of uh, John, 1 John, chapter 1, verse 3. The Bible says, we proclaim to you what we have seen and heard, so that you also, you would fellowship with us. And we fellowship with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. Again, boys and girls, we can sit together. We proclaim to you what we have seen and heard so that you also, you may fellowship with us. And our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. I hope you have Jesus Christ as your personal savior and you continue to be friend and have fellowship with him. God bless you. Boys and girls, it is time for did you know? Now, boys and girls, did you know that the tabernacle was covered with animal skin on the outside to protect us from the bad weather? I thought you should know. And now, to check whether you are following the story, I have only three questions for you. Question number one, what is the meaning of the word tabernacle? I repeat the question, what is the meaning of the word tabernacle? Choices, is it a moving dwelling? Is it a tablet or is it a camp? The answer is A, a moving dwelling. 
Question number two. Tabernacle was divided into dash sections. I repeat. Tabernacle was divided into dash sections. Four, three, two. The answer is three. Question number three, and uh, the last one, boys and girls. How many times the priest was allowed to enter into holy of the holiest? How many times was the priest allowed to enter into the holy of the holiest? Was it three times? Was it one time? Was it five times? The answer is once a year. I hope you got them right. If you didn't, please you can watch again or you read the Bible. And also if you are so small, you can ask an adult in your house. Thank you very much for your participation. God bless. I hope you are listening to the story. And let us test Sparkle whether he was listening as well. Sparkle? Yes, teacher. Alice? Were you listening to the story? Yes, I was. Would you please tell us what you have learned from the story? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I learned that mm -hmm. God desired to have a fellowship with his people. Very good. And it's for him to have a fellowship. Mm -hmm. He had asked Moses to do something. Yes. Mm -hmm. He asked Moses mm -hmm. to build a tabernacle for God. Very good. Sparkle is very, very clever. And I hope also you, you are listening and you got something. And with that, we are going to sing a song which says, What a fellowship. Baraka, where are you? Yes, Charles, I'm right here. Very good, Baraka. I would like to say hello to you. Yeah, I knew you are, you are also very good in singing, okay? Yes, I am. So are you going to lead us with this song which says, What a fellowship. Yes, I'm more than willing to lead us through that song. Thank you. So we'll sing together the count of one, two, and three. What a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms. What a blessedness, what a peace of mind, leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all our lands. from all alarms, leaning, leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms. Boys and girls, are you ready for Teacher Peter with the Bible craft? Welcome, Teacher Peter. Hello boys and girls, and welcome to our Bible craft section, where we craft God's word. In our last lesson, boys and girls, we made the calf, and the calf, or the golden calf, that the Israelites worshipped. And the calf is a young one of a cow. Boys and girls, today we have learned about God enabling the Israelites to build the tabernacle. And the theme for today, we have learned that God provides for us fellowship. And so today, boys and girls, our craft for the day is the tabernacle. This is a sample of what we are going to make. And for boys and girls, for you to be able to make the tabernacle, what do you need? You need to have one, two, Three A4 papers, I have them in color white, you can use any other color. Then I have another color of paper, color pink. 
You can as well make use of any other color. Then you'll also need to have uh, the glue, a pair of scissors, a marker pen, and some crayons just to make your work more colorful. So boys and girls, it's now time to work on the tabernacle. And so you begin by clearing your space where you will be able to work uh, on. So you'll pick your A4 paper, put it right in front of you. And so once it is right in front of you, you should be able to fold it into two halves because you want to get it, get it into equal sizes. Then you'll begin by folding, making a small fold right up here. And then you press or you grease your paper nicely. Then once you've done that, you'll do the same on the other side, almost the same size. You'll be able to fold the paper right there. Then do the same on the other side. Fold the paper. Then once you've done that, you'll open up your paper. Open up your paper. Then begin greasing it nicely. Nicely. Remember the lines that you have put on the paper? They will be directing us and giving us guidance on the spaces to be able to be cut or the spaces that we need to cut. So pick your scissors, cut there up to there. Don't go beyond that space. Do the same on the other side. Then do the same on this other side. Turn your paper and cut up to there. So you've done that. Pick your glue. Glue up that space, glue up that space, then glue up this space. Uh, glue up this space and do the same on this other side. Be careful that you do not tear the paper like I did, but I have been able to place the, it back. So you'll do the same. On this side, you should be able to make that fold and make this fold, make that fold, then do the fold on this other side. So make sure that the paper is nicely done. So we have our outer space right there for the tabernacle. We have the outer court. It's called the outer court. So we have the outer court. Then we'll be able to work on the inner court or the holy place. So I have a much slimmer paper here. I should be able to work on it. So I'll put the paper right at the center. Then I should be able to fold the paper against that. And then do the same on the other side. Then once you've done that, remove the paper. Do the same on this other side. You should be able to fold, to make a fold on this side. Then grease the paper. Then open it up. Then get to the other side and make a fold, then grease the paper nicely. And once you've done that, we know now our sides are equal. Pick your scissors, cut through, up to there. On the other side, do the same. Turn the paper. On this side, do that. Then on the other end, do the same. Then pick your scissors. Uh, before you pick your scissors, we want to make sure that our, our papers are not that long, so you should be able to trim just a little bit. Trim, trim the sides just a little bit so that they are not very long. Eh? So you trim a little bit, trim a little bit, make sure that they are equal then we should be able to do the same on this other side. Just make a small trimming or you cut out the paper. Cut out the paper. So we have our papers cut out like that and like that. So we should be able to do this other side also cut out so that it's not very long. Eh? All we are doing is that we are making our paper to be more manageable. 
So we cut out, then pick your glue stick. Pick your glue stick. I think I'll also need to trim here again a little bit. Just a bit. Then pick your glue stick. It's now time to put the, uh, the sides together. So you'll apply glue, apply glue, then apply glue. And you should be able to put that to that, then that to that, then this side that to that. So we have the Holy of Holies, or we have the Holy Place, sorry, we have the Holy Place. Again, we just put some glue and put it right there. Then we have now the smaller place or the Holy of Holies. Now we pick the paper, you cut it into smaller halves or a small half, then fold the paper and then open it up Then make a small fold so that you are able to glue this side and place it right there. Um, we should be able to do a small door on this side. So I'll cut out the door. And then I should also be able to cut out a door from here. And do the same on the other side here. So we have the door to the outer uh, the outer ca uh, court. So we have the outer court. Then we have the holy place. And then we have the holy of holies. Holy of holies. So boys and girls, this is what we had done earlier on, and this is what we've just done. I write here the tabernacle before I finish. The tabernacle. Can you say the tabernacle? I'm sure many of you have been able to pronounce that word, eh? the tabernacle. Yeah, so we have the tabernacle that we had done earlier on. This is what we've just done. And before we finish, we should be able to pick up all the items that you have been using and put them together or clear up our space so that we make our space much neat. So this is what we have made. This is what we had made. And so boys and girls, as always, we are excited to see your work. If you want us to see your work of the tabernacle, please send your work to this number that is appearing on the screen right now. Thank you and God bless you. And now children, as we come to the end of our lesson, I would like to hear from Sparkle and Baraka whether there is anything they are taking home. Sparkle? Yes, teacher Alice. How are you? Fine, fine, good. Baraka? Yes, teacher Alice. Are you all right or you're sleeping? I'm not sleeping. I am right here in class. Very good. Now, let's start with Sparkle. Sparkle, what are you taking home today? Teacher Alice, mm -hmm. my take home today mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. God desires for all his people mm -hmm. to have a fellowship with him. Very good, Sparkle. Thank what you. What about you, Baraka? I learned that God helped Moses to build the tabernacle so that people would worship in there. Very good, children. You are doing very, very well. And also what you can do when you go home, please teach your parents or all those people, even your neighbors, okay? okay. Yes, yes. yes, very good. And now let's all put our hands together close our eyes and bow down for a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we worship you. We give you all the praise, we give you all the honor, we give you all the adoration. 
We thank you for the lesson that you have taught us today, that you are loving God and you want us to be close to you. You want us to be your friend. And it's our prayer, God, that may you help us, O oh God, always to come close to you, to worship you, and to tell others about you. We give you the honor. We give you the glory. In Jesus' name we pray we all say, Amen. Amen. And now may the grace of, of our, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And children, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like our Facebook page. And follow us on TikTok. Also, share, share, share. Thank you. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you being with us. And may God bless you. Take care of you. Have a wonderful week. And remember, stay, stay safe. Bye-bye.